And yes, you also don't miss a newspaper headline review. We say Master Chukudez will break down the things, the story behind the story. And today I hear say Wakapreneur. Wakapreneur? Runspreneur. Runspreneur. You pick your own preneur. Uh -huh. As long as say they make money for you. Na the na the level. Right? Say so what do you do? I I I think. They say in Lagos, the is eh? I think. It's a thing, not be bad thing, because everybody said that they call them be think tank. Even think president gets his own think tank. Think tank, yes, think, think tank. Like people that you go there for thoughts, thinking thoughts. I'm not talking about think tank. You <laughs> just say, hurry, will you have me? <laughs> All right, cryptocurrency say, cryptocurrency don't say, well, I eh? for like my hmm. you said that Frank Fagbo. Then I this, studio. this matter, eh? I said, this matter, you can all look Frank Fagbo say, Frank, now, not, not to make fun of anybody, because I'm not going to lie, give me. No, no, no. You pay me rich blood. Yes, sir. So say, now, when we see anybody walking on the road, and it's shedding just a tear or two, uh -huh. we don't know it's, a it's, a it's a cryptocurrency trader, cryptocurrency because situation. of waiting government don't do, mm. you know, as a matter be so. Uh, I got Franklin Peter, CEO of BitFXT Cryptocurrency Exchanger, in day with us on the line. The person they join us from Dubai yes. for us to discuss this um, cryptocurrency matter mm. when we say governments uh, don't ban the transaction. Yes, yeah, so it says CBM being proposed regulation and ban on top of this matter. Oga, okay, good morning. Oh. Hi, good morning. Good, good morning, morning. Oga Franklin. Uh, first of all, what do you think about this decision when we say government don't before I go even enter the question not vex my chairman day here hmm. uh Maze Edewo, okay, Ichie, we... Edewo himself <laughs> day inside you. studio with us with this you. um morning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do you feel Hello. about this decision when we say uh CBN take I don't like give you for some parts people say that because they do not get clear understanding of how the cryptocurrency they work other people feel say that just government effort to stifle what maybe then they feel CC as easy money now, so we they look the matter. They also give their reason. Say yes. Uh, the say one. They not feel really understand how the matter they take be. You know, if you hold anybody responsible mm -hmm. and say be like say some terrorists, they use them so they move, they move money teams. as well. What mm. do you feel about this ban from the government? All right. So thank you so much for having me on this um, on this session. No, we're um, excited and elated to be here. Now the news came out day before yesterday. And, um, first of all, it's not like we, we, at some point, did not anticipate such move from the government. Um, of course, in Nigeria, you don't really expect things to be stable. Um, two years ago, we heard about the ban on Okada. You know, these are people's investments and all whatnot. Whenever the government see that money is no longer coming to their own direction, they fight it. It's almost normal with Nigeria. So regarding the cryptocurrency situation, um, that they, 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 you know, they, are, they are coming up with different stories, um, saying people are using it to ter you know, finance terrorism and, and all whatnot. Those things are just to cover up for the, what they are doing. That's not true. Okay, um, so based on what so you, you feel say, of course, if you say cryptocurrency trade, uh, if you say they're transparent, you know, to a very large it's, extent. Yeah, it's even more transparent normal banking system. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, yeah, more transparency is more open. I send you money, we can track down from the wallet right? where it will leave, to yes. Track it and we can know who the person that wants. So, so, so which means we feel track money easily when it comes to Easy. this cryptocurrency uh, situation? Yes. Hmm. Okay. So clearly, yes. this is not just lack of understanding of blockchain technology. Because you know, say, as they don't carry that message put out there, you know, say, our own banking system, if you want open account, person will still go verify your you house. You know where you did, where you did, where you did come from, where you did work. So all those they too believe in, the, in mortar and brick, you know, brick and mortar mm -hmm. kind matter. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. but you'd already talk, say, you're not facing at the lack of understanding of blockchain. You're just facing a government deliberate policy to stifle, you know, um, to stifle finance innovation. or circulation yeah. or even innovation in the economy, I see. But looking at this situation, sir, you feel say the government get points because when uh, we did talk about how the um, how money they circulate, in the, in the, that kind of thing, say if it they affect the economy in a bad way, also looking at from the government um, standpoint now. Now looking at the government standpoint, um, international remittance account for some huge percentage of the inflows and 
you know, uh, profits that the government make. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have a lot of people who are in diaspora. They send money from their court from wherever they are down yeah. to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, usually they do these things through banks. Yes. And banks make a lot of money on exchange. They make a lot of money on transaction mm -hmm. fees. Now, since cryptocurrency came into the who stopped use that particular means? To number transfer one, money. Like two days, three days before you receive the funds. Yeah. Number two, the bank start heavy, right? And um, the first the person receives money, let's assume you're your, your village and you send the money through Western Union. She may not to convert those monies. So for cryptocurrency for people to send money directly to somebody in, that understands crypto, mm -hmm. sell it in the back market, then take physical cash to the market. You understand? So yeah. it made it that people started stopped using uh, um started using this cryptocurrency. Hmm. Now, in my opinion, what the government was supposed to do is not fight against the things that people are using, but find a way to if they if they find a way to they could still make money, right? Mm -hmm. They are exchanges, they are actually the people yeah. getting these transactions. So if they found a way to so liars with us ask how they for who could educate them. And funny enough, um, months ago, I was part of about um, um, with Nida, with Step, and they gave you know an assignment. Okay. Come back to them, roadmaps that could help them play um ecosystem. Um, um, okay, frankly, let's say we will try to call you back because uh, the line they break small one. We need to hear exactly these things we really talk about. So we will try to call you back uh, so that we will connect better and so people will feel hear you well. Uh, this is a very very necessary conversation. Seeing the fact say this one concern people money. When people don't hear say their money, they want thing, want thing they happen. People like to talk about and to know as the matter will take this. So this is a very, very interesting conversation we we'll get this morning with Oga Franklin Peters and I think that person will get better understanding about this cryptocurrency matter. How the thing they work and where thing they go, how the, the benefits and the, the disadvantages where we go for even look at how this thing they work. Well, as you take talk, uh, on in China because of say government really no understand the process. And like you talk, we like to the get verification where we uh, make we know who they send the money, make we know where they come from or where they go. But like in Don Talks now, it is very, very easy to track money. And that's not one of Nigeria's major issues. Blockchain technology don't day on ground for a very long time. We don't time. say for when Nigeria, say, track money now, one of our big because issues. Because you know, you know, now we don't talk about this cryptocurrency. Yes, now, when crypto, now, you make me not follow invest that time. See, I enter my head and I know go let you enter my head. <laughs> After somebody say between commodities, then condemn on yes. that period. Make people feel like saying like MMM. Yes. Remember, now everybody withdraw. Everybody come out. When yes. the thing come begin, they pick up. You now don't come too expensive for people to enter. Now, yeah. Blockchain, who they talk I'm around the whole world. So what you call they're different this time. If Black Sugar don't Oga, come back. Okay, frankly, don't join us back. Hello, no, no, yeah, back. All right, welcome yeah. back, sir. Welcome back. Yes. yes. Thank you. Okay. So as you don't, you know, look the matter, uh, it gets other countries when we say if you say don't take the same similar step, because I won't believe say maybe government don't look and say, well, if we take this decision, we're not going to be seen as backward. Maybe there are other countries that are also doing the same thing as you know we are. Um, you feel saying so, and what you feel saying the biggest fear for those countries where we say they don't also regulate cryptocurrency trade. Okay, so at some point, China um, emitted transactions for cryptocurrencies, and um, most most companies that were offering cryptocurrency services um, had to leave China. They moved to Japan and other neighboring countries. And after like a year, China removed that ban. The question we should be asking ourselves: Why did China ban what they had already banned? Mm -hmm. It means there are some. You understand? They repeat their saw. Right, um, India, the same thing. At some point, they, 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 they banned it and they had to lift that ban. Why did they lift it? Those are some of the questions. The problem is that our people um, in government, they don't carry out research. It. And, um, you know, like I was trying to say before the network called yes. here, um, people have found a way to take advantage of blockchain to put food on their tables. I'm talking about the TV youth in Nigeria. Who did not get job after after you know suffering for six years in university? These people have found a way to, to use this thing. You know they don't, they don't go into crime, they don't stay lottering the streets. They found a way to take advantage of this opportunity to put food on their table and to help their families. If the Nigerian government wanted to help Nigeria, right? Mm -hmm. What they should have done is 
found a way to partner with existing companies who offer these services. Mm -hmm. Ask the question, how do we channel, how do we, if, if it's taxed, we don't have an issue with being taxed. Personally, in my own opinion, I, I'm not speaking for the entire crypto um, 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 industry. Other people have different opinions. But in my own opinion, I think and I feel that this is a technology that has a huge future and it can't be stopped. In American Parliament, you know, the time that um, uh, it was brought up, a couple of times, right? They have, they have said it over and over again. It can't be stopped. How do we work the industry and make the best of it, hmm. right? Yes. There, there should be a line of thoughts. And, and the problem for me, I, I feel we don't have people that are competent in those, those seats. I'm, I'm sorry to say this. If we have people who are competent, now, um, I'm right here, in, wait, sorry to digress a little. Yeah. Are you aware that there are no tax on companies and businesses in UA? I don't know if you're aware of that. They, they do don't what? tax their people. They don't tax their they don't, Yes, they don't tax business. Wow, okay. They give wow. people the opportunity to run business without that. Now, because of that, friends all over the world, all over to okay, do their headquarters, offer their services, and, and in turn, there's money inflow mm -hmm. out of hmm. remittance and happening in Dubai, making a rich. Do you understand? Yeah. That's the reason why people want to travel to Dubai because they see things. And, and they get the buy thing cheap. So if we have people who understand um, economics, you know, on, on, on the health of affairs, they will be able to advise the government properly that instead of fighting something that has have been, you know, have been established as a solution to a problem, what they should do is to find a way to make it even easier. They could call exchanges and traders to a round table and ask them, how does this thing work? How do we help you to maximize it? And how do we benefit from it? How can governments play a role in this industry and take advantage of it and become, is it going to be a bad thing if Nigeria turns out to become the blockchain headquarter of the world? Hmm. Such that different blockchain um, um, companies from outside Africa and Asia would come down to Nigeria, establish, and then offer the service to other people outside Africa. Hmm. You understand? Yeah. And then in turn, there's an inflow back to the country and the money will start. You, you know, lo looking at um, the reason why they ask these questions based on waiting uh, the, uh, the CBM being released regarding the conversation with the talk, uh, the talk say a lot of uh, people don't, bad people don't choke hand inside this, this business also. Say they, they use them for illegal acts, they use them for illegal fundings, they use them for all these uh, things where themselves no even fit put a hold of, where CBN if you put a hold of. You know, if you say this one, self now another good reason or another, you know, reasonable point from the CBN regarding this whole situation. Okay, so um, I, I want to ask you, you know, you say Nigerians ask questions, so I'm, a, I, I'm a typical <laughs> Is there a currency that, that bad actors don't take in, don't take advantage of? Exactly. Okay, Think yeah. There's, there's not a the world. Are you people um, um, they use US dollars even much more than any other crypto, any other currency. Mm -hmm. Are they going to, is US dollar going to be banned because of this? No. Hmm. People still defraud people using Naira, Nigerian Naira. Yes. They can't ban it. So there is nothing that provides funds that puts food on people's table. There is nothing that is called money that people will not advantage. So we shouldn't look because of one black spot in the whole white background. And, and condemn the entire state. True. True. Why do you look at the positive aspect of it? And guess what? Everybody that had used cryptocurrency as a ransom for any, uh, you know, um, 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 maybe uh, I heard that there was somebody that kidnapped at some point, maybe in Nigeria, and even outside Nigeria, and they used Bitcoin as a, uh, their ransom. Yes. Those people were eventually trapped. Because they, they could trace. How it we moved. could see, hmm. yes. Hmm. Even till the next generation, I mean, even if it's in the next 10 years, 100 years, mm -hmm. if I want to track a transaction back to you, it will only take time, I'll track it back to you because every transaction, that's why it's called blockchain. Yeah. I don't know if I can, I, let me just use one minute, one 30 seconds to educate you on what blockchain really is, right? Yes, go ahead. Blockchain, yes, is a chain of transactions that are interlinked with each other. 
okay. simple. A chain of transactions that are interlinked. And all those transactions are stored in blocks. So that's why they call it block chain. So okay. chain blocks that are chain. So starting from 2009, when the first cryptocurrency transaction happened, the first tra transaction is called Genesis Block. We can track back every single transaction that happened since then to today. We can track down transaction that happened last second to that um, 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 Genesis Block, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So let's assume I send you Bitcoin now and you receive it, maybe in an anonymous wallet. Yeah, I know the wallet. I can keep that wallet watch and I can keep looking at it. And of course, that transaction is not going to end in that wallet. You want to cash out. That's, yes. that's the end. Point. So you are going to send it from that wallet to somebody that will not give you cash. Once you send it to that person that will give you cash, that person, because it's oblivious of that transaction, you know, the, journey, the origin of that transaction, mm -hmm. it may move it to an exchange that is that has hair wise you know, your customer and you will now convert it and cash out. Now, me that have been watching that transaction, I will now start from that last point. Yes. Do you and trace and it that back. Place, you cash that, and trace it back to the original transaction that mm. was stolen from me or something. You mm. understand? Yes. So the people who are offering that KYC system would give me the identity of the person that cashed out on that platform. That person will give me the person that sent the coin to him. He will give me the coin person that sent the coin to him until I get the final person to do that stuff. Hmm. That's simple. All right. Nigeria well, thank you. We don't have that kind of, um, 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 you know, system. All yeah. right, then. We don't actually even know what happens in the background, except we walk into the bank and ask questions. questions. And if they yeah. want to... Yeah. Well, okay, frankly, now, yeah. the much of say we will take on top of this segment. Um, with that, thank you so much for the explanation. We'll say you don't give on top of this cryptocurrency matter. Where make we hope say like India and China, government feel rethink them, reverse the trend. Uh, if then see say truly, truly, not the uh, most um, transparent means of exchange when they for our world today. Now digital era, yes, now we day so uh, things don't pass as it be before. We say you carry form fill and from now to tomorrow, bank agents go waka you reach your house. To know where you did, uh, the world don't change. People don't mm. move past like that. But we hope say as we as the days they go, uh, no policy day permanent for Nigeria. No policy day permanent. So you never know Everything what change. may happen Everything in a change. couple of weeks.